What it do, everybody? It's the Black Effect. I just recently saw something um, that I'm interviewing with Matt Hoffa or, or live that Matt Hoffa did about saying that Charleston White, that he's beefing with Charleston White because Charleston White said that he was going to do something to his seven or eight year old daughters. He said he's going to do something pretty egregious to them. Um, and Matt Hoffa. You know, he he's, of course, like anybody would be, he's pissed about that. And, uh, you know, he's speaking on it. Now, look, see, this is what I've talked about. I've talked about in numerous videos. God should keep each other's names out of their mouths, you know, unless there is something that they're learned that we're learning from. It shouldn't definitely shouldn't be going to a certain level as grown men. Now, I know Math Hoffa comes from the battle rap scene and he's disrespected some people to the utmost. You know, we know that that's what battle rappers do. That's why I never really got into the battle rap. I'm not a battle rap fan at all. I never got into that. You know, only battle raps I like is all, you know, from the greats like that's on wax, you know. Those back like for back in the day, like because back in the day it was a certain level of protocol, you know. Even the murder mooks and the the um, loaded luxes, it, those dudes were good at what they did, but they they were you know it started to get disrespectful at that point around the Jay Mills point. So it's like it's level, but it's still levels of etiquette. It's things called common decency. It's not, there is no common decency in saying you're going to touch on a molest a man's daughters and you hope they get molested or, you know, but you, for you to flat out say that, that you'll yourself do something to them, like, are, what are you, like that, are you tripping? Like, what are you thinking by saying something like that? Because either you could, there is no character that you could be in to put something like that out in the world. Like, no characters... We don't want no characters like that. You know, nobody does that because there's no common decency there. And some people don't feel, you know, some people don't feel like um, they don't feel like that it's something that they can let go. You know, they don't. Some people don't. Some people aren't the same. Some people are unhinged, just as I feel that, brother. I don't think that that you are thinking straight. When you do stuff like that, I think the clout is getting to you. Maybe the the weed, maybe the the drink. Like you're doing too much. The cocaine. I I don't I don't know, brother. I don't know you like that. I'm from Dallas. I stay in Dallas. Dallas is my hometown. You know, I'm Oak Cliff, born and raised. I am a Dallas native. You know, I have a lot of love for the city. City got a lot of love for me. I don't. We don't get down like that, bro. Like. I don't, we don't do no, like we more player laid back, you know, you know, if you do something to us, you know, I touch our family, you know, there's hell to come behind that. That's all. We don't talk about it. We don't be talking about what we're going to do. Like how, what I'm, what I, where I draw the line and YouTube need to be ashamed of themselves. I hope that video is not online of you saying that. You know, and I don't care what platform you said it on. That shouldn't even be out in the airwaves for you to be because that's not even that's not honorable for you to do that, to talk like that, because you wouldn't say that in a man face. Like if you was to say stuff like that, you you know, immediately say what you would do to a man. They could kill you like, you know, they should they could probably do that and get away with it because you said that and they, they could take that as threat to their children. Like, would you really say that in front of a, a, a person and they with their kids? I don't care if you if you Rambo, like, you know, you're going to immediately have to meet a life and be in a life or death situation. And if you was to do something and be the aggressor, they're going to take you to jail. You know, the cops not siding with that, bro. I'm telling you, like, like you said, some real decent people out here, some real God fearing men out here in Dallas. And I thought, you know, that's what you said you were, bro. Now, I don't know if you believe in the real Jesus Christ. You know, I don't know if you've been born again. You understand? Now, if not, then that would explain some things. I hope and pray that you get the real Jesus Christ, man. And just do continue to do, you know, his will for your life. I mean, I think you lose sight of that because I saw something back in the day where he was doing Charleston White was doing some activism and, you know, um, 
trying to stop gang violence. Continue to do that, brother. You know, now I know that this can get you doing like some of the approach I get, you know, because getting people this did a good thing. You did a good job up until this point of gaining attention. But see how attention can blind you. You know how the heart is wicked, how you can you can start feeling yourself too much. You can start getting too much attention and they cheering you on, telling you to do this and do this. And you do something and you say stuff like this. This is something that should never come out of a grown man's mouth in character or out of character unless, you know, he really want a problem with that man. And if you really want a problem with that man like that, you know, you got to ask yourself why. See, God's going to judge between you and that man in that situation. You know, you picking him out, both talking about his kids, like, you know, stick to the topic. You understand? Like, that's not, you know, that that's not, <laughs> nothing's player about that. Nothing's honorable or respectable about that. And then I don't know in anyone, see, people in this day and age just want to see you crash out. They want to see something happen to Charleston White. They literally do. It's people who watching you, brother, who don't have your best interests at heart. You got to understand who laughing with you and who laughing at you, brother. You understand? Because you don't, call, you, you want to cause conflict between two brothers, man. And that ain't no like that's not bringing that's not activism like you. That's like some that's like some going backwards stuff. That's like some Tupac stuff. That's like some see. But Tupac, let me say not say Tupac. See, Tupac was using the, the gang aspect aspects as like for a protection force. So that's like more like some uh, some Ja Rule stuff is what it's like. That's more like some some. Some uh, like, you know, that's some Takashi 6 9 stuff. <laughs> I put them all in the same category. It's uh, fun, ironically to say. I put Charleston White, Tosh, uh, uh, Jaguar, um, Takashi 6 9 Like, this is the age of the people who are like, who just do shock, like shock commentary, or, you know, just totally disrespectful things, say disrespectful things to people. And a lot of that is because. From like you know, you could tell that these people are hurt. Like these are hurt people. Like if you really just break it down, you understand. Hey, these people are going through issues. They people have talked this like they just people have never gave them a platform. You understand? Like in for if this was years ago before the internet, they wouldn't like they would never have a platform. But again, man, all I say is I don't wish no ill will on neither one of these brothers. But when you talk about a man's kid and doing stuff like that, you you're asking for trouble, brother. Like not all people want to, you know, not all people want to talk or, or just going to talk over the Internet. Like if you again, if you see a guy you talking about assaulting and, and I'm not even saying the egregious thing that he talked about doing to his daughters. Like, I don't even know who thinks like that, but. He talked about doing something egregious to to Math Hoffa's daughters, who's six and seven years old. And he also wished that they was to get molested. If you say something like that, can you imagine if, you know, like I said, if a man is out and about with his children or something like that and he see you, he not going to even ask no questions. He just going to get the blasting. You know, he just going to see you and, and, and grab you up, him you up, you know, and just get the dumping on you. You understand? Because and then he going to tell the police like, man, this man was threatening my kids. And I thought that he was going to do something. I thought he was, you know, he threatened to do something. He threatened himself to do something to them. So when I saw him, I, I was with my children. I just thought that I lost it at that point. You know, niggas is going to be like temporary insanity or something like that. It's a it's a couple of ways, you know, that a man can get off and, you know, in defense for that. And that's going to be between him and the Lord. Let the Lord the Lord is going to be the judge of that, because, again, no man should be in sight. You shouldn't be antagonizing anyone, inciting violence, especially against children. No one's behind that. Look, I'm not riding with that. Don't think this is a Dallas, New York thing. This definitely isn't that, you know, by far. I got a lot of love for New York. And I know cats, um, you know, got a lot of love for Dallas up top, down south. You feel me? 
And I know, the, you know, we know who, what the DOC brought to the game. So it's nothing but love, man. You know, it's love for Math Hoffa and his family. Really, really, brother, I would for Math Hoffa, I really wouldn't even feed into that. You do wrong by you do yourself a disservice, not wrong. You do yourself a total disservice by responding to a person like Charleston White. Like you should be able to read who you should respond to and who you shouldn't. But I get this from this perspective, bro. When the nigga talking about your kids, you got to let a nigga know what time it is, bro. You got to let a nigga know it's do or die. You feel me? And you take it however you want. You feel me? Like it is what it is. <laughs> you take that however you want. See, a nigga could say whatever he want to me. Like, I don't have children. It is what it is. You know, whatever you say about my mama, you know, I love my whole family. You can say whatever you want about anybody. It is what it is, bro, because it's sticks and stones, my nigga. I'm mature enough. I really do mean that, and I'm a God-fearing man. You know, God is the final judge. God, you know, and the Lord say vengeance is mine. But one thing, like I said, as long as you don't touch any, touch me, as long as you don't, you know, you're not in my vicinity to uh and, and and speak and threaten me or threaten my family. As long as you're not, that's the only two things. As long as you're not in my vicinity and threaten me and my family, and as long as you don't touch me or my family or anyone that I love, then you find to move around and say whatever you want. Period. You know? That's it. But any other than that, man, you know it's all love. And I just don't, like I said, for math, bro, just go ahead and you say it's your piece. I get it, brother. But just at, you should know that at this point, you can leave it alone. You, you, you know, <laughs> we know what it is, bro. Don't, this, this is going nowhere. And for Charleston, brother, just understand, like, if you have a mission, then, you know, handle that. And, and, you know, if you, I wish you, if you really genuine in what you're doing, then, you know, you shouldn't be saying nothing like what you said. You should know better. That can ruin your whole your whole platform. Nobody else, like the whole platforms, every platform can just get you up out of here. You see what they did to Andrew Tate for nothing. They did that for to you know to Tommy Sotomayor for, for less than what you're doing. So with that being said, it's your man, Nico B. Black Effect. Gone.